So in my last video, I basically compared the Wii U era to the Switch era, and I kind of described the Wii U era as some kind of a failure, because the Wii U only sold 13.5 million consoles worldwide, and in that definition, it is it was a failure. But the truth is that um, there were a lot of people that bought it. 13.5 million people is still a lot of people that bought this console. So I kind of wanted to go through how... Nintendo has supported it and uh, how I, and a couple things that I found that were kind of interesting that shows the overall decline in Nintendo's support for the console uh, after they began to figure out that it was it wasn't gonna be a super big success if that makes sense. There were a few little things that I found. Uh, I'm not sure if any of anyone else has found them before, but uh, I thought I would just go over them in a video so. Uh, the first one I'm going to get, this is the new one I think that I found. Uh, it comes in with the notifications app. And if you don't know what this is, this is basically a way for Nintendo to communicate uh, new updates and new, uh, basically new information about uh, the console and everything like that. So you wouldn't have to go on the internet, you wouldn't have to go on like Twitter or anything. It would just be straight to your Wii U console as you can see, uh, I'm just going to show you. It is right here on the toolbar. So you can actually just press it, and I think there's a little, uh, there might even be a dot whenever there's a new notification. But basically, this is where you got your Nintendo news on the Wii U console. It's basically like the news tab on the Switch, except it's a little bit more bare bones. As you can see, there is not very many articles, there's probably a little over a dozen. And um, there were a few things about these articles that I found a little interesting, because it goes from, uh, this is the oldest one. And uh, then this one, and then you go all the way up here, and this is the newest one. And there were a few things about this that I found extremely interesting, and it kind of does show, like, it's like a, it's an unofficial timeline of Nintendo supporting the Wii U at the, its most, and then uh, going to where the Wii U was dead and Nintendo wasn't supporting it very much at all. So if you look um, here, after the February fun, this is the last article that isn't about something shutting down all of these four uh that i that you can see the nintendo tvii announcement the wii street u announcement the meverse announcement and the eShop announcement those are all cancellation ones if you look here here's the cancellation here's the cancellation of meverse here or uh, uh the google thing uh here's the cancellation of meverse and uh here is the eShop news now um, this, I'm assuming the February fun, uh, thing was probably 2016 at the latest when this one came out. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I may be wrong, but, um, it would make sense. So this is the last article that was actually put in here that wasn't something shutting down, which is kind of sad if you really think about it, because this was... Uh, at most four years after the Wii U even came out, and that's pretty short for a console's lifespan, especially for a Nintendo console, after the Wii lasted like six, seven years. Another thing that I noticed, even about these uh, articles that were telling you that things were shutting down, is you go from the Nintendo TV II announcement, where they give you a little graphic here saying, thanks for tuning in, almost three years of finding, watching, and engaging with... Nintendo TV II, the service will be ending on August 11th. It's a nice little send-off uh, for the platform, and it was only three years old, too. Like, and that's pretty crazy. Oh, wait, hold on. So this February fun article must be 2015. Still, that, that's, that actually makes it worse. <laughs> they stopped the notification thing three years after the console came out, man. That's crazy. But yeah, they gave you a little graphic for the um, Nintendo TV II thing. And they um, also... Uh, gave a little bit of a shout out uh, saying we are deeply thankful thankful for all the engagement and excitement our users have generated and enjoyed while using the service. They gave you a pretty nice thank you. Then they clarified a little bit more on what's going on and when it's going to be shutting down and uh, everything like that. And then um, you will see here they're talking about basically when they when they say that you can enjoy your favorite shows on other uh, video and demand applications. They're talking about like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Crunchyroll, I think is on there. Uh, and, and then they gave you a little thank you for your uh, continued support. And that is 
a nice way for uh, something to get shut down. That's what a company should do. Now, if you look, if you go a little bit on, you see the Wii Street U announcement. This one is, uh, this one didn't give you a little graphic like if you see the Nintendo TV II. They gave you a little picture saying thank you for tuning in. You just get you, you get a little picture for uh, Wii Street U. It's just a, it's just a stock photo of uh, the thing. Um, but they still actually say thank you for your use and support of the software, and then they apologize for any inconvenience. That's uh, this one isn't as good as the TVII announcement, but um, it's not it's not bad by any means. Uh, but it kind of shows that th things are changing here. And then the Meverse one, you don't even get a photo. It's just telling you the uh, Meverse is being discontinued. You will no longer be able to use it uh, on any platform. Uh, and then you, then they tell you you can archive your posts, which uh, uh, is a good thing. And uh, then they give a little bit more clarification. And then they also, again, say thank you. We sincerely thank you for supporting Meverse all these years. So while the um, overall quality of these shutdown announcements went down as time went on, like uh, the first one, Nintendo TV II had a um, had an image. The um, We Straight You didn't have an image. It was just a stock photo of the thing. Um, and then the Miiverse one had no image, but they still said thank you. Every single one of those announcements still said thank you. So um, what makes this a little bit strange is the Nintendo eShop announcement closure. So this means that you will no longer be able to even go on the eShop and buy Wii U games. So you'd think that Nintendo would say a little bit more than just as of late March 2023, it will no longer be possible to make Nintendo eShop purchases on Wii U consoles. And then they give you a little link, that's it. That's all they give you on the notifications tab. So they completely just did not put any more effort. They just gave you a little paragraph. And considering how Nintendo uh, went from thanking you, they didn't even thank you in this one. They just kind of said, this is happening, that's it. And yeah, so um, I'm assuming they give you an article so you can go to the internet browser and I'm assuming that they gave you uh, a thank you there and everything like that. But for the notifications app on the Wii U, some people won't bother to even read the article. They'll just see that and then it'll be just, okay, well, that's disappointing. Is that really, um, <laughs> is that really all you're going to say? Are you going to tell us anything else um, other than, or do we have to go to the article or can you just kind of say what you need to say here? Um, but yeah, it just shows that Nintendo really went, um, really did not put <laughs> a lot of effort into telling you the Wii U eShop is shutting down. Another thing I wanted to kind of highlight here uh, is on the eShop itself is um, that Nintendo has ported pretty much every single game, every single big game from the Wii U onto the Switch now. And uh, in some examples of this, Nintendo has actually stripped down the original Wii U version on the eShop and uh, j as they port the console game over. So basically, uh, here's an example. Uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, it was ported to the Switch in I believe 2018. Uh, I could be wrong on that. But uh, a little before that game came out uh, on the Switch, Nintendo decided that uh, it would be better to just get rid of it uh, completely destroy it from existence on the Wii U eShop. It is no longer even here. It is gone. You, like, if you go through this, you cannot see... You can see trailers for it, which I don't know why they even kept these. You have a television commercial. And I'm going to show you... I'll show you that the game exists and it was on the eShop. Because, um... <laughs> look, you look at it here. This is not just a Switch. Look, you, you'll go to the end of the commercial. You see the box art right there. And... You'll also see, hold on, I think I just, this is something that I just saw, uh, right here. Like, you'll look at the commercial, you see that right there, in stores and on the Nintendo eShop. You literally put that in your ad, and then you strip the game from the eShop. I don't, I don't get that. I really don't. It doesn't make sense to me, other than getting other people to buy, uh, the Switch, which I don't. I don't like, I do not like, if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't like that practice of shutting down your, um, 
or basically stripping a game that was perfectly fine on the eShop and just taking it down just because you put it on another console. Another thing here is, uh, you see this little video on demand thing? I'm highlighting it right here. You click it, you see Crunchyroll, Netflix, and YouTube in the actual banner. You click it, boom. Just YouTube and Crunchyroll. There's nothing else. It's just those two. Netflix is nowhere to be seen. Uh, now, I don't know if Netflix shut down on the Wii U. I wouldn't be surprised. But it's kind of funny <laughs> that Netflix is actually just there. It's still there, even though it's not even on the eShop anymore. I think this might be the last thing I want to show you. But um, there's a leaderboard here. Uh, there's charts that tell you the best-selling games for the... Um, Wii U in the past little bit um, and if you look at it it's kind of it, uh, it kind of shows you a lot how Nintendo is starving people of their legacy content if you look here all of these are virtual console games with the exception of I believe Wind Waker HD which is 13th by the way all of these are um, virtual console games all of them Mario Galaxy 2, that one wasn't ported to 3D All-Stars for the Switch, so people are getting it here if they don't have it already. This is the only official way for you to download Super Mario Galaxy 2 without going through piracy or anything like that. This is the only way for you to get it officially from Nintendo. And they are shutting down the store for you to even buy this. So there's no official... After this, after the eShop shuts down... There is no official way for you to buy a lot of these games, including Mario Galaxy 2. Unless if you're willing to shell out a, like, a bunch of money for uh, a physical copy of it on eBay or something like that. 95% of these games are virtual console games. Wind Waker HD is no longer for sale uh, outside of the eShop. Uh, you can't go into like a Walmart and buy it. You can't even get this game. This game wasn't ported to the Switch. So people are buying it, it's $30. If you want it for the Switch when it eventually does get ported, you're gonna be spending a good $80 Canadian, because this is Canadian prices, by the way. Um, <laughs> so you'll be spending $80 for a game that you could have got for $50 cheaper on the eShop if you own a Wii U. I guarantee you, if they ported Wind Waker HD to the Switch, this game would be like immediately stripped off of the eShop. If they do it within the next year, they will immediately strip it off of the eShop, and that's really, really sad. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say here, and um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Uh, if I'm completely wrong about my assumptions here, uh, let me know. And uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.